Welcome back, everybody. It's Love Renaissance Radio on Sirius XM, The Heat. It's your girl, Burke Hardy, Amber Grimes, if you know me, the neighborhood homegirl, if you love this show. And today, my, my main man is out, but I got another guy here with me from the squad. Tunde, what's up? What's poppin', everybody? It's Tunde Toon, the Niger boy, back. It's been a minute, but I'm happy to be back. What's good, Bacardi? <laughs> Nothing. Um, good to have you in town. Justice, I don't know where Justice is. I know we miss him so much, so... Uh, He's trying to find some cool pants right now. <laughs> um, Tunde, you sent me a cool article the other day, and while I had you, I said, okay, I have to talk to Tunde about this. Music videos. We are both kids of the 90s. Are music videos not important anymore? Hot takes, I'm kicking it right off. Uh... They still are are important. You just got to figure out a way to cut through, which is damn near impossible right now. So it's almost feeling like our music video is a waste of money. So I feel like kids these days wouldn't believe that even before the industry was making less money than they do now, videos used to be like a million dollars. Like a million dollar video was not out of the ordinary at all. And now it's like a $60,000 video is like, oof. That's, artist, that's the artist right. budget. Ah, it's crazy. I don't know, but you said like you know you have to cut through. I'm seeing so many video. I, I, I'm seeing so many videos that are not cutting through. They're so, not. Like how how do you cut through as an artist? And then I'm gonna say like you. I guess you sit and you watch young boy videos, and the ones that really got him on were like him in his closet and him in the house, and it was cut through just because he wasn't doing a lot. So. What does an artist do today? You got to relate. You have to relate. You have to create a conversation. You have to be able to make people laugh, make people cry. You have to, you have to actually evoke an emotion from people. If you're just doing a video to have people watch, it's a waste of money. It's just there. And I think with, with Young Boy, he got the attention of kids that, that may relate or may be interested in what he's saying or what he's doing in the videos. And it worked well for him he really targeted his own audience and really grew from that so you got to really like target your audience and then make content for them and then grow from there because you can't serve everybody everybody is watching and listening to too much right now it's super hard it's damn near impossible once again do you think that there is um i feel like artists before used to have relationships with directors you know, mm -hmm. like Missy shot everything with Dave Myers, or yeah. you know, even when Justin was shooting everything with Colin Tilly, when a mm -hmm. lot of the rappers were trusting in hype because they mm -hmm. knew that they wanted that hype look or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, especially since I guess there's like anybody can have a camera these days, right? The relationship with the director being gone, I think, has people lost in how to develop their visual identity the same way, like if they don't have a producer, executive producing their album, or really producer cl close with their music they're kind of just trying anything and working with anyone and getting like 10 different looks. Yep. The the beauty of DIY that has gotten so many new artists on is also the bad part of it that there's nothing ex exclusive anymore. Anybody can do anything at any time, which isn't bad, but also nobody, I mean, not I say nobody, majority of people who are doing it aren't taking their time to actually master the skill. They're actually learning on the job when they're shooting with the artists or doing things. <laughs> and sometimes you don't actually get the best stuff. So nobody's actually perfecting their craft outside of shooting video. They're like, I have a camera, let's just try it out. And we've gotten some amazing things from that, but that's like one in a million. Yeah, it's like so, putting lightning in a bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not going to work. I think people should keep doing it, but practice and really practice and really trying to hone in their skills to be the best. Mm. I'm gonna say too, I guess, if you don't really know your brand as an artist, it's hard to start building the visual identity before you know who you are and what you wanna share. So you have a bunch of people trying to figure figure their whole life out, but you still gotta put these videos out, right? Yeah. The song is coming out, so you just get yeah. trash videos. My, my advice is really just to be more of a student. Like, if you see some dope shit, you'd be like, yo, like, how did they do that? Or I wanna be that, or I wanna be this, and really study, and you'll, be okay if not it's gonna be hard for you good luck <laughs> love renaissance radio sirius xm the heat as soon as we get back we're diving right back into this conversation let's go to the next mix now tune day yes do you think 
no more TRL, no more 106 in Park, no more of our the big video, the TV series of videos that we grew up on. Those being gone, obsolete. Is that why music videos don't matter anymore? I believe that is a part of the issue in the sense of, I remember me, after school, I used to run home and make sure I caught TRL in 106 and Park. And whatever was on there is what we were like, oh my God, this is it. That person's famous. That person's famous, <laughs> this is it, this is incredible. And you really got into it. Now, you have YouTube. You don't, you don't have to rush home. You can watch anything at any time and, and there's no pressure. And I, I think that's part of the curation, once again, that, that we, we've lost that everything is accessible, which is good, but nobody is saying what is actually the best. Everybody is kind of using their own opinion, which once again, isn't bad, but also there's a, there's a lot of trash things out there that we accept as trash that we just take as, it's cool because it's so much things being thrown at us. I feel like our bar of, of what we think is good is very low. I'm gonna say something. <laughs> this I'm gonna is very say low. something that I shouldn't say. I miss gatekeeping. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, like I feel like gatekeeping should have had like some sort of slow evolution rather than tear the gates down or make a universal key that everybody can use. And you know, it's it's so it's a double edged sword, right? Because on the one hand, I think if we had such heavy gatekeeping, we wouldn't have incredible visual <clears throat> artists like Lil Nas X. Right. He he is one of the most, he is making some of the most memorable visuals that I think I've seen in several years. Pushing boundaries and all. He wouldn't even be an artist, mm -mm. you know, unless the people had a choice. Right. However, I think there's so many artists who make such beautiful art and it doesn't even get, it doesn't even get a chance. It doesn't even see the light of day because there's nobody here saying, here's, I have a suggestion for you. You trust my taste. You trust this TV show. You trust this host. You trust Watch Carson this. Daly. Watch this. Trust me. And you could put a little young boy, you could put a little Lil Nas X, you could put a little Kendrick, everything in the countdown. But now it's just so controlled by public opinion. And the public opinion, unfortunately... It's formed. It's not good. It's formed 30 minutes after... Friday morning, 12.30 a.m., around 1 a.m., uh, a artist's dreams are crushed. Literally, once they drop their video or their music, <laughs> it's over. If people don't like it, the label's already saying, oh, we have a problem. That's a pro that's, that's crazy, but that's where we're in. I mean, I'm, gu I'm guilty of it. We'll, we'll be in group chats like, oh, this is trash. <laughs> and that's we have, good, we have good opinions though. <laughs> yeah, we do have we have we, we we do have good opinions, but that goes down to it that experts should be able to give folks like push things in front, be like, hey, I know all, you know this, but like check this out and trust me, because we, we do trust experts in all other fields, but in music now it's almost like oh, we don't really care what y'all think. We want this. There's also no forced repetition. I think we're forgetting how important watching a video every day is. was. Like, yeah. I we, we were talking about this about movies the other day. Yeah. That likes like, oh, you know, I'm gonna see that movie again because I might catch something different. Yep. I might see something. I might actually understand the message. And now with videos, like us growing up, <sighs> if something was on the countdown on 106 and Park, what what did they retire it like? It was like a month, maybe a month, like 90 days. I don't even remember, 100 days. Yeah. Because the Bow Wow, the, the king of 106 and Park. Yeah. But you kept watching it. <laughs> over. Whatever over. Bow Wow was wearing, you wore that to school the next week. Whether it was Bow Wow, Dipset, whatever. It was like, visually what you saw is what you put into real life. And we're not really seeing that anymore because everybody dresses alike too. But that's a whole I'm I'm trying to think thing. present day what would make me re-watch a video. Cause I'm I'm the same. I'm conditioned now too. So as soon as I see a video, I'm like, oh, okay, great. Oh, that was a good video. Then I'm back on Netflix. Never, so. I'll never go back to it. Nope. It's hard out here, y'all. LVR and radio. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Love Renaissance Radio, Sirius XM, The Heat. It's your girl, Amber Grimes, and I'm sitting here with my boy, Tunde Toon, and we're talking about everything music videos. Now, Tunde, I know sometimes we sit up here like old 
grumpy, nostalgic uh, <laughs> haters, <laughs> millennials. Yeah, for sure. You know about how it was in the past and how it was so much better. But I love technology. I never fight technology, and I do understand that videos had to evolve. Yep. Everything has to evolve. So, on a better note, what is the evolution of music videos? Because we're we're just complaining about what's happening with them now. It's going to go somewhere else. Like, what's next? And we work at a label, so we need to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, and we're still trying to figure it out. And all this stuff is so funny because we're we're talking, and it, it, this is an exercise for us to try and figure it out because it's tough right now. I mean, right now, v videos play into a artist campaign or whatever you're doing so much is that sometimes they're a storytelling piece. Sometimes they are they are just a piece of content. Sometimes a video is literally the main piece of the whole campaign that if this does not work, we're we're SOL at this point. So honestly, um, we really don't know. And that's kind of why we brought Amber in. So she can Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's a, it's a really important topic. I think I've been trying to figure out the content strategy for videos for what the last like three and a half years about what's going to happen. I'm going to say something. Um, I really feel like TikTok may really help eventually solve this problem because TikTok is becoming the source of everything. Like more and more I'm going to TikTok more than I'm going to Google or YouTube or anything like that. Hopefully it's gonna get me killed. But you know, like it's just that's where I go for everything that I want and need and I'm seeing myself go to TikTok and it's just easier to consume videos on there. So for me it's just like adapting like I don't have time to sit down and watch a four minute video. So people can figure out how to make these music videos more condensed and more digestible for consumers, that might be the best way. But I think you just also solved the repetition problem, right? Because I will sit and watch a TikTok over and, oh, over, over, and, over, and over and over again. And, over and, over and again. TikTok has the power to reserve the same way it's, you know, gate kept, if you will. They can reservice the video on your for you, the For You page over and over again. Whether you watch it or not is yep. one thing, but it's like, how can you just have to get it in front of people to see if they stay. I think that when TikTok, you know, made the the three minute length, they were dangling a carrot and it's yeah. like, who's gonna bite? Who's gonna bite? And I don't know, I, I could be wrong. I haven't <clears throat> seen anything really take off there. Mm -hmm. Like a, a like artist, no, no YouTube at all, actually. Yeah. Official music video going straight on TikTok, what's mm -hmm. up? Yeah. But I would like to see that. Yeah, honestly, I don't need, I don't need a music video for your full song. Hmm. Why? I just need a little minute clip to get me interested into my home. I like you this want song. I like teasers it. only for music I didn't videos. Say, why does it have to be Someone's a teaser? Someone's kill you. Maybe <laughs> the new form of music video should just be something that is digestible. And it's, it's up to us to figure out what digestible is depending on the artist or the song or the content. But everything don't have to be the same length of the song. Because some songs aren't meant for me to watch a whole video through. Some songs don't mean shit. Well, that's the power of TikTok because they have us thinking 30 seconds of some song makes it good. And there's been so much stuff that went viral on TikTok. And I'm like, oh, yeah, let's little jazzy hook. And then I go and listen to the verse and uh, my ears are bleeding. Yeah. Like totally to sounds totally different. Doesn't make any sense. And it but that's what matter. the kids like. That's what it doesn't matter. That's what the kids like. Um, imagine if you saw Soldier Boy on TikTok when we were young. I would. I would. Yeah, I'm. I'm I'm here. Yeah, I'm in this. I mean, the, the I only the only thing that I would have needed out of Soldier Boy if this was that time is the hook of. That's all I need. Even though I like the the Robocop yeah. line is really good. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> honestly, right now people aren't listening to words. Let's be honest. They want the hook. They want to have a good time. We've been in the pandemic how many years? Nah, folks want to be outside dancing, singing hooks, not thinking about folks' verses. We're not time for that. We are single-handedly here dismantling the, music. the art <laughs> <laughs> music. behind music. Justice will be so upset, be upset. as an A&R. Hope he doesn't hear this. Um, before we, um, you know, go, since we've crushed everyone's dreams in the music business, uh, the talent show's up next. You know, another, another, either dream-crushing experience or, or we find a star today. Makes my dreams come true. I'm that optimistic. Great music videos. I'm hopeful. You guys stay tuned. Talent show's coming up next. Get by your phone at LVRN Graham. We are going live and we're looking for a star today. Get ready. Love Renaissance Radio, Sirius XM, The Heat. We'll be right back. Love Renaissance Radio. 
Sirius XM, the heat. Black Bobby Brown, even though Bobby Brown's already black. I can only imagine what your girlfriend has to deal with moving in with you. Love for your <laughs> Hell.